I'm meteorologist Peyton Malone. This is your Thursday, May 20th tropical update. We are tracking Invest 90. It's an area of low pressure that has developed pretty far out in the Atlantic. That's Bermuda, and here's the east coast of the United States. A way on out there. It is trying to organize some. It's not tropical in nature, but the National Hurricane Center saying this will likely develop into a subtropical system. So it will continue to kind of meander out here, uh, get close to Bermuda by tomorrow in this weekend, and that's when it'll be over some warmer waters in here. So that's when it could try to become subtropical, meaning not fully tropical in nature, but it'll have some of those characteristics. Now, if it does become a subtropical storm, it would get a name. The first name of the 2021 season is Anna. So this could be our first name storm of the season. We'll just have to wait and see what it does, uh, but could do it as soon as Friday or Saturday, and then it's heading back out to sea. And we could show you the spaghetti plots here showing that uh, this thing is going to kind of hook back towards the west, southwest, and then that's when it could organize a little very briefly become subtropical and then weaken as it moves back out into the Atlantic. Of course, preseason storms are becoming less and less rare. We've actually had one every season going all the way back to 2015. That's the past six seasons. So if we do it this year, that would mean seven years in a row that we've had a preseason storm develop. Last year, you might remember we had two before we even got to June 1st, which is still the official start of hurricane season. We had Arthur and Bertha. We had Andrea back in 2019, Alberto 2018, Arlene in 2017, 2016 also had two, Alex and Bonnie. And then also back in 2015, we had Anna as well. So we'll be watching that to see if we get our seventh year in a row of a preseason storm or at least a name storm. Now, as we go throughout the rest of the season, still calling for a busy one. Uh, Colorado State University, of course, put out their outlook last month. We'll get the NOAA outlook actually today, and we'll have details on that in the later forecast and videos. That was last year, of course, with our record breaking season, our average amount of storms usually. Uh, and now this is new at about 14 storms. So hurricane season still officially starts on June 1st, but we could be looking at our first named system by tomorrow.